I'm headed to a boot camp class, a boot camp workout class. It's a sculpt day. It's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I think last time we spoke, I was headed to Wednesday, so now it's Friday. And I have just been just um, coming to a lot of realizations and also while I'm coming to those realizations, y'all are going through the week if you are following me and you are watching the videos. The videos that came before this one all happened in the same week. And I was just like really emotional that week. And I feel like part of it was because I had kind of gone back on my stance of not necessarily not less uh, not necessarily put in weight loss in the forefront and so I think that with this challenge I kind of got a little antsy like I need to you know be losing weight I need to be showcasing weight loss and to show improvement type of thing and I can't do that you Barbara you cannot do that girl because my mental health that's not even it's just not who i am i am working out eating healthy being mentally healthy taking care of myself you know writing and journaling and going to therapy and exploring new avenues i am doing that and weight loss may happen but it may not but i cannot weight loss cannot be at the forefront of my life it, it just has never worked for me and I don't know and in some hands it's like yes I want to take you through that so you understand that yes I go through those bouts of where I feel the pull the societal pull to talk about that but also I feel like it makes me look flighty like I don't know what I want but it's also I know and hopefully I, I'm starting to realize because I don't give people enough credit sometimes I feel like people don't understand but y'all are smart enough to understand that people have ebbs and flows and two things can be true at one time and journeys aren't linear and you know I you can see me I can't never say that I'm really ever like it's more of a societal pull to for weight loss for me because if you look at my like Shein videos and stuff like that you see me dancing around like the video when I was going to the Usher concert you see me like I'm not sad about the body that I'm in not at all you know I'm cool with it no. <laughs> but there's a societal pull to like if you're going to talk about health and fitness and you're bigger you're supposed to be trying to lose weight so that had kind of creeped back in so then you then I had these videos I feel like that week of me kind of coming back to girl that's not you and you trying to fit in that box it you too big for that box it's going to hurt so no you cannot do it that way love you just gotta do it I gotta do it my way so I had to, you know, come back home to that. So, yeah, more of the healthy lifestyle and whatever. Because it was nothing from nobody is saying that. That's just a me and me knowing that one plus one equals two. And when you're in a health and wellness space, or if you're talking about health and wellness things, that is just like people's main pull but I cannot again I'm not selling I can't sell or put forth a character all I have to give is myself and I'm a human who this is the human experience I'm having so with that being said and I'm almost there but with that being said the nutritionist thing so I told y'all that didn't work out the nutritionist the, the insurance but it might have been a blessing in disguise because it made me go do more research so I was listening to another podcast and ended up purchasing a workbook that'll be here tomorrow about emotional eating overeating and body image so it's a workbook that was created by three 
different people so one's a dietitian one's a therapist and so forth and so on and then uh i was listening to the podcast today and then there was a woman on there that was talking about how she she has a program not a she has a program i guess i'll call it for people who want to uh be free want to create peace with food so i'm looking into that as well so i'm looking into other things and it's making me have to you know work and pull because i was always going to have to come up with my own way of relating to food my own way of handling my own relationship with food let me see if i have time i have two minutes so let me say this so me and my husband were talking about uh because i was talking about my relationship with food and he's like i don't i never thought about having a relationship with food and i and i said to him you do have a relationship with food you are you look at what ingredients are in food you layer things you are you know your making sure these flavors go with those flavors you're dressing it the way you cook is all these different steps and it's like a love story whereas my relationship with food is like uh i'm abusing it honey i'm like boom i'm finna eat i'm now i'm watching tv nobody talked to me i'm finna get this down you know it's this this and this and it might not even feel good in my stomach because it's got all this cheese and that and that but i'm eating it and i'm eating it fast so it can, i can be full and it's just like a totally different <laughs> experience so i'm trying to bring in some of those the romance of eating into my relationship with food and i feel like i've been doing that with my oatmeal that i've been making and just like cutting up the fruit to put in it and the salads and stuff like that so i'm trying to incorporate some of that romance now let me go in here before i'm late y'all see that that sweat i'll be sweating up a storm that's why i'm glad i got that uh elementy it's like salt water. It has salt, magnesium. It's just electrolytes to put that back in my body because I sweat a lot. I should get some gas, but I'm gonna wait and get it tomorrow. What time is it? Cause I could get gas, but I don't want to. I'm hot, you know? So what was I talking to y'all about? The nutrition situation? Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm on a better path with that, like, self-discovery. And I'm going to be, whereas I would have been getting information from one person, I'm getting information from a lot of people. And I may still see a dietitian, but I'll also have a better foundation when I see her. I'm still working with my therapist. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Now, you're scaring me. I'm sorry. They was backing up that thing on me. And it uh, scared me half to death. <sighs> Cause I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, I don't even know what I was saying. Cause that just, every time I get in the car again, every time I get in the car and I'm with y'all, I'm always cussing the fussing. But yeah, I'm good. Everything's good. That was a good workout. Yeah, I'm back on track. If y'all saw those videos, that's me too. You know what I'm saying? This is me, but that is also me, <laughs> you know? And as women, if you're a woman, you, you probably understand uh, at different times of the month, you, you have different, different emotions and different levels of who you are. But yeah, that was me, and this is me too. So yeah. And I turned y'all off real smooth and stuff. Like that's where I was gonna end it. But I and I was. But also I do wanna say that it, you know, I could because there's some that haven't been released yet. Like there's some that I haven't that haven't come out yet, but I'm gonna leave them on there because I know that it's all a part of my journey and who I am. And even though I know more more so the people that know me or think that they know me you know uh they have an opinion of what it looked like but as my mother would say f what it looked like you know what i'm saying it's the truth and you know them 
you know, thinking it's funny or thinking it's something embarrassing, it has, says more about them than it does me. And if it's parts of themselves that they're not comfortable with, or if they're, you know, less, that is not my, that's not my thing. It's not my burden to carry, you know? And, <laughs> you know, I'm talking, this is the one aspect of my life that I don't mind sharing. And so I'm sharing it openly. You know, there are other parts that I don't share openly. And, you know, I get to decide where the lines are. Nobody else. And if they get a laugh, good. Make sure you watch the whole thing so I can get the watch hours. And make sure you share it so your friend can get a laugh. So I can get those watch hours. And with you doing that, hopefully the person who needs it and needs to see it sees it because honestly i'm talking to the people that need to hear it and i got such an encouraging i get encouraging um comments all the time another creator called uh, her name is mingle with brown she left such a beautiful comment on there and i feel like patrice denise she always leaves me beautiful comments um lots of people uh, it's beyond G, Sweet Life of Queen. They leave people leave Shay's journey. Everybody, people leave beautiful comments all the time, and that lets me know that somebody hears me. People like people that I know, like on Facebook and stuff like that, tell me I watch your videos. You make me laugh. You make me think. You know, so it's somebody is hearing it, and I know that where there's one, there's more. And so I just want it to reach the people that it's supposed to reach. You know, if I have to go through and share myself with people that aren't those people, so to get to those people, so be it. You know, I'll bite that bullet. I'll be that, you know, pun or that joke to get to the people that I believe in my heart that I'm meant to share myself with and be a reflection for them and be a voice for them so that they don't feel alone, so that they feel seen, so that they feel like there's somebody out here that has a similar story to mine and that makes me think that maybe I can do things differently and maybe I don't do it exactly like them, like maybe they don't do their life exactly like mine, but it makes them think, how can I do my life in a way that I love and enjoy? That's who I'm talking to, so. If that's not you, please keep watching. But like, just move to the side so I can talk to my girl behind you. I'm talking to the girl behind you. But yeah, now I'm gone for real.